Good evening, friends. Uh, as you are aware, uh, on the 3rd of March, we had spoken to you and uh, given you a brief about the emerging situation due to the spread of the uh, COVID-19 or so-called coronavirus. We have been uh, constantly monitoring the situation, reviewing the situation. Uh, as you are aware, uh, mm, the latest review was held in the evening today under the chairmanship of the Chief Secretary. Uh, as things stand today, 100% um, self-declaration protocols already stand established at all airports. All entrants to Jammu and Kashmir via road are being monitored at Lakhanpur and Lower Munda respectively. We have established help desks at railway stations, Jammu, Katra, etc. The Shri Mata Vaishnu Devi Ji Shrine has introduced 100% self-declaration and thermal imaging. Uh, 287 cases have been put under active surveillance so far. 95 of these have completed the surveillance period of 28 days. The remaining cases continue to be under surveillance. We had informed you in the morning also that 28 samples of suspected cases have been sent for testing so far, 25 of which have tested negative. There are two cases which have reported a high viral load, but the final report in both cases is awaited. Meanwhile, and as a precautionary measure, we have decided that all primary schools in Jammu and Samba districts of Jammu Division and the four districts of Baramulla, Bandipura, Badgam and Srinagar in Kashmir Division shall be closed and shall remain closed till March 31. This shall apply to all primary schools. We have also decided to suspend biometric attendance in the entire Jammu and Kashmir till March 31st. We also strongly urge and appeal all religious, social and political organizations to avoid gatherings, especially large gatherings. We are also grateful to a number of organizations who have responded to our appeal and advice and deferred many of their programs. We also urge and request all citizens, especially those with travel history, to affected countries such as China, Iran, Italy, to self-declare immediately and report to the nearest health facility any symptoms. We have also established helplines and we have widely publicized the numbers of these helplines. Citizens are free to access these help access these helplines, report anything, seek advice, etc. I would like to take this opportunity to again assure everybody that there is absolutely no cause for panic. We are seized of the situation. We are sensitive to the situation. We are reviewing and monitoring it closely and continuously. We are fully geared to handle the situation. Wherever required, facilities are being supplemented, expanded, upgraded. What we do like to reiterate and urge is that Basic precautions, as have been advised in the medical advice, are necessary and must be followed. These include respiratory etiquette, hand washing hygiene, basic hygiene and such other precautions. We also reiterate and urge self-declaration by citizens and that any symptoms must be reported to the medical authorities immediately without any loss of time. Thank you very much.